when you start speaking in a language that people don't speak, they resent that. And if you start speaking like NPR, you're going to lose votes. So I tell people, there's one term that you, I, I just don't like the term communities of color. I don't know what the hell it means. So I live in New Orleans. So I, I, they got three guys on the street corner. I said, hey, hey fellas, how are things in the community of color today? They said, what's the same old bitch talking about? Seriously? I have ass bastard out of here. <laughs> All right? Talk to address people like, you, like they address each other. And we started on this coded language, and we let it get away from us. And people, it, 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 it hurt us. And it's what I call coastal condensation, <laughs> that we know what's best for you. Don't eat hamburgers, don't watch football, don't drink beer. <laughs> Guess where our young male number is going? In the toilet, all right? Because democratic messaging, I'm sorry, is too feminine. It just is. Okay, James, uh, I was, I, I was, I'm going to stop you right there, but I'm going to, but we're going to keep going because I want to, I want to quote something you said, you told Donny Deutsch earlier, um, actually a few weeks ago, on his podcast. I'm going to try to leave out some of the expletives. Um, here's what, here's what you said. Unless you want me to say the words, I mean, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Donnie said, uh, Donnie was asking you about you know the shrinking male support for Democrats, and you said, and I quote, "I think Democratic culture has too many preachy females. It's too much. Don't eat hamburgers. Don't watch football. Wear a condom. Like, man, shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I got a goddamn life to lead." And then he said, he, I call this cosmopolitan con condensation. Um, James. <laughs> I get where you're coming from. Okay, thank you. But there are a lot of people who, for whom, you know, saying that there are too many preachy females might sound like you're a 20th, 20th century man in a 21st century country that has changed. Right. So, so what's wrong with people saying, and by the way, it wasn't Democrats saying don't watch football. That was Republicans, but that's a, that's a digression. Talk to, talk to me and other people for whom what you said there is uncomfortable, yeah, they, they, maybe to some unconscionable. I, I, it, if you think about democratic messaging, listen to NPR, Let, read what comes out of there, all right? And you can see it. And I'm sorry, there are too many preachy females in democratic campaign culture, all right? And, 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 it, it, and we come across to people as judgmental, and that's not good at all. You can come across as understanding, and, and if you want, if the proof is not in the pudding, look at the male number of people that identify as Democrats. Yeah. And you can keep talking like that, but you're, it, 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 I, one of the things that I found out, they're actually people who don't mind losing an election because it makes them feel better and superior. They ain't nothing short of winning. That's what you're about. If you don't win, you don't have shit. You're just running around with talking points. <laughs> All right? And, and you don't, you don't win elections by telling people that their dietary habits are bad. <laughs> or they shouldn't be watching football and drinking beer at the same time. Not good. I've got news for you. Football's popular. People watch it. <laughs>